for a person to walk around the community with one of these masks, it doesn't benefit them at all. At this point, people are trying to buy N95 respirators, and there's absolutely no indication that the public would benefit from this. These masks don't cover our eyes, and this may be an important entry point for the virus. We know that it enters through mucous membranes, and by touching our faces, this may be a port of entry. We should be focusing on hand hygiene. That's the more important point. They require a special fit that we do in a hospital, uh, using special scents to make sure that they fit tightly, that nothing gets through. I'm placing the N95, trying to form a tight seal at the nasal bridge, but also my chin, because these are key areas where there can be leakage. So it's like, yeah. Smoked it, like, almost like you smoked it. So this could be a problem if you wear glasses. So we're going to put you back under the hood. If you at any time can taste this while I'm spraying it, let me know. Those are our specialized masks that wear, are worn in the healthcare setting. Therefore, doctors, nurses, patients who are sick in the emergency department, we generally put these types of masks on, and that prevents the spread of, of, of disease. People that have respiratory diseases, putting this mask on could actually impair their ability to breathe and to oxygenate, and could make them dizzy and at risk for falls. The best way that the public can protect themselves against coronavirus is to practice effective hand hygiene. And that means this, washing your hands for 20 seconds, not just a quick spritz under the sink. It's the duration of time and the mechanical scrubbing are the most important in cleaning your hands.